Imagine a speck of dust with the power to heat a metal button red hot. That's polonium. Tiny, rare, and wildly energetic. Quick origin story. 1898, Marie Curie, Pierre Curie, found pitch blend ore that buzzed instruments. Marie isolated a new element and named it polonium after Poland. So what actually is it? Heavy element on the periodic table. It spits out alpha particles. High energy helium nuclei. It doesn't glow green. You can't feel it zap you. Alpha can't get through skin. But inhale it or ingest it and it's catastrophic. During early nuclear research, polonium helped scientists understand radioactivity's rules. It even played a role as a compact heat source. Its decay runs hot, keeping instruments warm in harsh conditions. It found niche uses in anti-static devices for factories, zapping dust off film or machinery. And in very controlled labs, it's part of specialized scientific sources. Here's what surprised me most. It's insanely rare in nature, like trace amounts in uranium ores rare. Modern supplies are carefully made and handled under strict regulations. If elements had personalities, polonium would be the intense introvert, silent, powerful, and you really shouldn't get too close. If you held a sealed polonium source in your hand, your skin might be okay short term because of those alpha particles, but the danger is inhalation or ingestion. Then it's a cellular wrecking ball. That's why it's tightly controlled and handled by trained professionals with serious safety gear. Big picture, polonium helped unlock the secrets of the atom, powered niche tech, and taught us hard lessons about radiation safety. It's a reminder that in science, tiny things can carry massive consequences. If that sparked your curiosity, I've got more bite-sized deep dives coming. Hit like if you learned something new and tap subscribe so you don't miss the next element with an attitude. Drop a comment with what you learned. See you in the next one.